Hi guys, happy 2018 and uh, welcome back to another sharing video today and uh, thanks for watching the video as promised every Monday I will post a sharing uh, on some scriptures so today uh, I want to share something that has been uh, burning in my heart and uh, I believe you actually need to do as well uh, to reflect on you see many people today are actually Christians today are living in a life of, uh, I would say in a way like self, self uh, serving. Okay, I, I, I'm sad to say that most Christians, uh, mostly serve themselves more than serve God, unfortunately. And I'm I'm also guilty of it. Not not just uh, you. Okay, so I'm equally guilty. I mean, when I was new in Christ, I always pray about my own family needs. You know, my own. Uh, desires and all those things which is nothing wrong because the Bible said that you know we should pray for our needs and pray for others as well and uh, what what comes to my attention is that as as you go longer with Jesus and you read uh, more of this wonderful Bible book here and get to know uh, Jesus more you want to actually serve him more than actually serve yourself more all right if you don't find yourself doing that then something is uh, very wrong. You, know, you can be in church for many years, you know, read the Bible, but if you're not serving God, then something is very wrong because that is a command. You don't actually really have a choice. Uh, you read the Bible that you know, Jesus commands us to make disciples and making disciples means preaching or sharing the gospel. And you know, that's what I'm doing with you now. <laughs> so basically, uh, everyone is being commanded to do this, but unfortunately not everyone is doing it because everyone is busy serving themselves first than serving God and that's very unfortunate. So I want to share something that maybe you're not even aware of. If you today I want to share on the uh Bible verse on Acts uh chapter four from verse twenty seven to thirty one. Okay and that's let me just read it to you. Alright it says here this is from the book of Acts alright and indeed Herod and Port Pilate met together with Gentiles and the people of Israel in this city to conspire against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed. They did what your power and will have decided before should happen. Now, Lord, consider their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with great bonus. All right, stretch out your hand to heal and perform miracles and signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant Jesus. All right, after they prayed, take note. The place where they were meeting was shaken and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke with the word of God uh, boldly. So the first thing to take note, you know, you not read the book. Book of Acts is one of my most favorite book among all the chapters of the Bible. And the reason is because it talks about basically uh, Christians, all right, what they should be doing. All right? So you see, the thing is that a lot of people always think that, you know, Peter and all these are like superheroes, you know, they're not afraid of anything. But the the truth is, before they were baptized in the Holy Spirit, as we what we just read, alright, they get persecuted. And maybe in some countries, they don't feel persecuted. I mean, in Singapore, in where I live, we don't really feel much persecution here because we are very free in sharing our religion. And uh, but in some countries it's very difficult. And th if you are in those countries, I admire you because you actually put up a huge prescription for actually being a Christian by itself. So having said that, uh, many people don't realize that uh, you need to not only just pray for yourself, but you also must pray for the Holy Spirit to give you boldness. And that's something I think not a single pastor I have here for these eleven years as a Christian has preached about boldness. It's pretty uh, surprising because if you notice the theme of all the acts, I mean the book of acts, is always related to boldness because you can see how bold they were uh, when they received the Holy Spirit. And uh, if you really, really, truly love Jesus and you want to actually really start sharing about Jesus, you need boldness. You mean even to just pray for someone that you do not know or a friend to pray for healing, it requires bonus too. All right, but where can you get this bonus? As what the scripture says, the Holy Spirit will give you that bonus. Okay? And if you read your if you read your Bible, you would know that 
uh, the disciples were very afraid before they received the Holy Spirit. They didn't dare to go out to preach the gospel. You know, they didn't do anything at all, actually. In fact, they just hide in the room, just like many of us uh, Christians. We hide in the church, not doing anything. They say, hey, this is not for me, because we are very afraid to do things for the Lord. All right, and uh, and I want to encourage you, right? If you are afraid today, you know, to serve the church or serve Jesus, you know, pray for bonus, pray for the Holy Spirit to give you bonus to share Jesus with. And sharing is not difficult; it's just sharing your story, you know, tell people how you believe in Jesus. That is very good already, uh, in sharing Jesus. That's the easiest, fastest way to share about it. You can share on Facebook. Uh, it's a fast. You can share this video. You know, you can share Bible verse. It's so easy to share now about Jesus online. It's just a matter of whether you want to do it or not. All right, unfortunately, not many people are thinking of doing that. They're only thinking of serving themselves. So that is not what God only wants from you. He commands you to actually be His ambassador to share about Him. So why aren't you sharing about Jesus? All right. And I thank you for watching this video. I mean, the two persons who are watching it right now and more. And I'm encouraged that you guys watch my video so I know that you guys value the content. And uh, so basically here, bonus, all right? I, I, I grow my bonus from the Holy Spirit, obviously. And uh, I want to highlight that if you're a pastor, you know, please preach about bonus. You know, it's something really lacking in the church. And uh, it always pray about healing, you know, pray about all this. Like nobody talks about bonus. And actually one of the greatest commands is to make disciples. And you can't make disciples without bonus. Bonus in the person's life, right? At the end of the day, it's not about the pastor. It's not about me. It's all about you, whether you are willing to share Jesus to others on the, on uh, in your life. It can be Facebook, yeah, anyway. So safe, easy now. And the first step I will encourage you to do is to share Bible verse on Facebook. That That's what I do every day. And uh, I will encourage you, we have Bible verse almost every day on our fan page called Gather Faith. We post one picture every day. Share that. It's so simple. Just share that to share the gospel. Okay. And the reason why I'm so bothered to talk about bonus because uh, you will see uh, healings and miracles when you have bonus in Jesus Christ. And I can tell you from my own experience that sometimes when I go out there to share with people about Jesus Christ and I pray for strangers that I do not know, I initially was pretty afraid as well because I'm thinking, what if I pray and nothing happened? So it doesn't matter if there's something happened or doesn't happen because those are all negative thoughts. The main point is that you bother to listen to God. Right? That's the main point. That you were willing to pray for someone in love because you care about them. And that is the main point. It's never about the miracle. It's always about listening to the will of God and what Jesus asks you to do. If Jesus asks you to pray for someone, just pray because you are not God. You are not the miracle worker. God is the one that uh, give, delivers the miracle. Your job is just to be his vessel. So just remember that you are not the miracle worker. All right, Jesus is the one. All right, so I will encourage you, regardless whether God got healing or no healing, you know, you, you will experience amazing things when you pray for people. Sometimes when I pray for people that don't get healed, they get healed emotionally. They actually get healed in other ways that you will slowly find out when you pray for more and more people. Uh, I mean, fellow brothers and sisters out there. And don't be so quick to actually get people to accept Jesus. Because the thing is that, do you realize you read the whole Bible, right? All the miracle happens without even asking salvation call first. The thing we have is in, in today's church life is that we have a lot of pastors or Christians always insist they have to receive Jesus first before we can pray for them. The, the irony is the Bible never said that. It never asks you to accept Jesus first before you pray for us. So why are we doing that? Is it biblical? Uh, up to you to decide. I, I don't comment. But I will say that if the Bible can shows us very clearly, you know, that Jesus can go to anyone without even accepting just we I mean really, really accepting him as a salvation call. Alright, the, the 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 my point is that as long as they're willing to accept your prayer, that is good enough. Alright, so I always ask people for even at that you don't have to believe in Jesus, it's fine. But can I have permission to pray for you, to bless you, and uh, to help you in your situation? If they say, okay, then just go ahead and pray. Uh, you don't have to really, really share the whole Jesus story to them. Because uh, I can tell you, most of them do not want to hear because they are still skeptical. 
but because when you pray for them, they feel the love of God. Whenever they feel the love of God, the touch of God, when you pray for people, they will be more so, um, miraculously. To be honest, I I'll see it so many times. Miraculously, they will be more open, and that's the all. That's time that you can share about Jesus, especially when sometimes they feel a miracle happen in their legs or body. That would be the best time to share. So I I, I pray say again. You know, if you're pastor or you have you are cell leader or whatever. Start talking about bonus. I think that's very lacking in our today's church and hope in 2018 you will be bold to share about Jesus on Facebook. And first, that's Facebook, right? That's the easiest way to share uh, online. So, thanks for watching today's video. Hope you like it. Uh, talk about bonus. So, if you like it, do like the video and share the video. the button, some and share the video. Like our fan page, we have new videos every week on Monday. Uh, where I share on the gospel. Thanks again. God bless you. And thank you again. May God uh, bless you abundantly for 2018. God bless and goodbye.